just told me that the baby has jaundice and that uh and the baby's gonna have to stay here in the hospital for a couple days and check it out I just make sure that he's okay that's it well I just want to know he's okay when they first told me I thought they were telling me that he would stay I leave and I couldn't stay here with him I've only had him a couple of days I didn't want to not be close to him I guess so step number one is to identify that the baby has jaundice and you can't do that just by looking at the baby and infer what the level of bilirubin is. Bilirubin is a molecule that comes from the uh, breakdown of red blood cells and the disintegration of the molecule of hemoglobin. All of us are making bilirubin all the time, but babies make more bilirubin than adults and they have trouble getting rid of it because the liver that is involved in getting rid of that bilirubin molecule doesn't work as well. And the problem is if bilirubin gets too elevated in the blood, it goes into the brain and causes permanent, irreversible, total brain damage. And this is a completely preventable condition. It should never be allowed to happen. We have what's called phototherapy or light therapy and we put the babies under there if the bilirubin gets too high to bring it down um, to avoid the brain damage. So the baby was identified as having hyperbilirubinemia. The next step is to ask ourselves why. So then we're going to do a series of diagnostic tests to help us figure out and also talk to the mother about the breastfeeding and also do a physical exam on the baby. And this baby has several risk factors for jaundice, namely bruising of the face. And possibly, it's not clear to me right now whether the feedings have not been optimal or not. They said they're checking it out, and I know he's here. At the, he's going to get the best help, so <sighs> I feel better. So I'm not worried. I'm not worried about what's going to happen here at the hospital because I know he's going to get the best care.